Many of you were here last week uh, when I was praying here and the Lord asked me, Major Prophet of God, pray for Namo de Kano and also pray for uh, P2B and also pray for the politicians that are contesting for election. You know, when it comes to a time to serve the nation, you know that one thing about serving the nation, that anyone that indicates interest to serve the nation is also becoming what is called the favorite of everybody. We must do everything possible to pray for them, to protect them, and to also wish them well. Even though we may have our preference and also our choice, we must always do what is needful in terms of praying and supporting and making everything possible to everything to work in the direction of God Almighty. Now, I begin to watch the social media and the internet to see a lot of things that is going on there. Some people might say, oh, why is this one coming out? Why is the other one coming out? This one supposed to sleep. This one not supposed to come and contest. Brother, if there is no people to contest, there will never be a winner. It is when we have different people coming out to contest, that, that is when we can be able to say, oh yeah, this one, oh yeah, no, this one, no, this one, no, this one, yes. We now choose the best that we want when it comes to election. And so we cannot outrightly shut the rest of the people out of the way. They must be there to fulfill the purpose of God in terms of people that contested. But we already know who we want and we pray that God should give us the best. And who we want should always be the best. But we must pray for everybody that makes that choice and decides to come out to come and serve the public. It becomes what is called our duty to pray for them and to stand in the gap to intercede. This is why sometimes people will look at the major prophet of God and say, oh, major prophet of God, are you so, 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 are you IPOB, are you uh, Biafran, are you uh, uh, Odudua, are you Arewa, are you Nigeria, are you American, are you this, are you that? My position as a major prophet of God is to be with those that have made their life a sacrifice. Believe it or not, Tunubu has made himself as a sacrifice to serve Nigeria. Whether he's serving in the best interest or no best interest, he has made himself to be a sacrifice to work for Nigeria. The same thing, Atiku also has devoted himself to also be and make a sacrifice to serve Nigeria as a nation. And also the gentleman, Peter Obi, also has also made the interest and sacrificed himself and bring himself out to serve Nigeria at large. So all these people have indicated the interest to serve the nation at large. But we, the people that are the citizens of the country, we want the best. In that sense, we must always stand in the gap to pray for all of them and declare, let the will of God be done and let God give us the best. And when we enter into this position and begin to do what we need to do as people of God, God will now be happy with us. We must not crucify anybody at this time. We must not fight against anybody at this time. We must also pray prayerfully for all of them and also decide and tell God this who we want and this is what we want and we stand for what we want instead of us to come out and begin to fight this one or fight this one. No, what we should do as a people is to choose who we want and prayerfully dictate and pray this is who we want and continue to pray for that and also pray for everybody but telling God this is who we want must be the best. That is how everything is done when it comes to people that understand life in general. Now, when the people of Israel was having the man called Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior, Jesus came to save. Yet, all the people that he was saving, all the people that he was healing, all the people he was performing miracles for, they were also the people that ganged up and were saying, crucify him, crucify him. And after they have crucified him, their eyes opened. They begin to say, oh, this is the true son of God. We have made a mistake. Until today, the guilt is in their heart. So this is why as a people, as a nation, as prophets, as men of God, we must prayerfully support everybody, but keep on telling God the best, the best, the best, the best. And when we pray like that and walk like that, the will of God will be done. And at the end of it all, God will hear our cry and God will give us the right people with the right things, with the right focus that is going to do the right thing. 
And at the same time, as we're praying, we also continue to pray that the spirit of marginalization, the spirit of denial, the spirit of downcasting, the people of rejection and all of those things, God should also do something about it. Now, that being said, the Lord has been revealing so many things for me. And that was happened last two weeks. Last week before last. That's last week when I called out prayer. He said, pray for Mazi Namrekano because I saw in the realm of the spirit what is called an attack in the prison. And that was what made me to now say pray for the person called Mazi Namrekano. And we pray the prayer. Even though what wanted to happen, happened the way it happened. But thank God he was not there. Because if it was there, something negative would have happened. And when something negative happened, the nation would be thrown into trouble and into big problem. This is why prayer is very important at all times. You must pray for everybody in authority, everybody that has made himself or herself sacrifice for the people. We must continue to pray and asking the Lord, let your will be done. Because we are the co workman sheep. On the face of the earth with our God. Remember the Bible said we are his workmanship. What's the meaning of workmanship? The, word of me, the meaning of workmanship is that we are the people continuing the foundation he has laid. We are continuing the building. He has started the building. He has built. We have to continue to build together. And what is the meaning of building together? The meaning is that we must continue to stand in the gap to intercede and pray so that the perfect will of God will be done. Sometimes when I look at the people, the way people take things, it pains me. So these are the things when you hear me talking about to pray and all of these things, I know what I am saying. It's not everything we say. There are things we just take it in the spirit and begin to pray. You can imagine what would have happened. Assuming the man and the car was transferred to Kujé. There are a lot of people who were saying, take to Kujé, take to Kujé. And he was right there in the DSS custody. If they have taken him to Kujé prison, what would have happened now? For you to see that God is aware of everything. So we must continue to pray for the people in authority. God should give them wisdom. God should take control. The hand of the Lord should prevail in every ramification, in every class, in every area. Also, the same way as the election is coming. So many things are happening in the realm of the spirit. The Lord has already opened the eyes of the major prophet of God. Because when it comes to prophetic or what is going to happen about the election or about the countries of Africa or country of Nigeria or continents of the world, there is nothing happening on the face of the earth that God does not reveal to his servant, the major prophet of God. Day before yesterday, I was prophesying here. And I was telling people to pray so many things, telling them what to do. And the following day, something happened. And we heard about the resignation of the prime minister right there in the uh, in UK. And this was a prophecy I gave 2021 accurately. Then that is God using it to show to the world and the people in the country. Look at the prof the same prophet that prophesied this is now telling you to pray. Don't take the prayer for granted. The prayer is very important. So if the evil people love themselves, they should not run down the personalities that God is giving to them. Mm -hmm.